Hello. Um, this is part two of um, God will deal with them. This is part two of that. And the Lord wanted me to come back and share the word that he actually gave me to go with it. It's in Jeremiah 24. And it's a two basket of figs. And the Lord said to Jeremiah, what do you see? Jeremiah answered, the good ones are very good, but the poor ones are very bad. They cannot be eaten. Then the word of the Lord came to me. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, like the good figs, I regard good. The exile from Judah jumping down. I will plant them and not uproot them. So God is going to plant us and not uproot us. He said, but like the poor figs, which are so bad, they cannot be eaten, says the Lord. So will I deal with them. God says, I am going to deal with them. We're talking about two baskets of figs, the good figs, the ones that can be eaten, the ones that are nourishing to the body of God, to the kingdom of God, the people, the children, the true children, the remnant of God who are nourishing when you eat them, who fills up the bellies of others. And then there's the bad figs the bad figs mixed in with a little bit of Pharisees mixed in with fake Christians make mixed in with some some cold-hearted nasty grimy pulling down of the people of God tearing down the people of God the bad figs the ones that don't know that they're back bad the ones that rebel and raise up hell against the children of God yeah the bad figs God says hearing his word I'm gonna deal with them God said, I'm going to, I'm going to banish them. He says, I'm going to banish them. He said, I will send the sword famine and plague against them until they are destroyed. When God deals with a thing versus when we, when we deal with a thing, God destroys it. When God deals with a thing versus when we uh, deal with a thing, God starves it because he wants it to know that you've never ever should have mixed, tried to mix and mingle and pretend to be an imposter and wear the heavy mask before my children. You should have never tried to walk with Jesus, Judas, if you weren't right by them. I'm going to deal with you harshly. You won't be able to run from the traumas in your mind, Judas, leading to your, you taking your, your fate in your own hands. He's going to deal with them harshly. God's work will not be stopped in your life nor in my life. The work of the Lord will not be stopped nor held back. It is going to deal with them harshly as an example to others. Why did he allow the children of Israel to win battle after battle after battle after battle? To let people know that the children of God was on their way into Canaan. Canaan. To let people know that the children of God are on their way. They feared the children of God. Even though they were walking through those deserts in their wilderness, they feared them because they knew that their land may be next because God was with them. People are going to see in this season that God is with you. He's going to wake them up. The ones that's been sleeping and disrespecting you and talking to you or pretending as if they don't hear you when you're talking, rebelling against your business, rebelling against your marriage, rebelling against your calling. God says, I'm going to deal with them greatly. They shouldn't act surprised. Please don't act surprised. When you see the hand of the Lord come in and the wrath of the Lord come in, God says, but you good figs, I got you. He says, I'm going to cover you. I'm going to be with you. But the bad figs, I think you should go read your Bible. That's where your fate lies. Mm, I'm just a messenger. See you guys later. February word dropping about three hours Eastern Standard Time.